And let's start, of course, with the Baker Mayfield signing. He's now officially met with the media. And tell me your initial thoughts on bringing Baker Mayfield in and what you think his participation could be in this team, what he could bring, his experience. I think the move makes sense for both the team and the player. The Bucks obviously needed some sort of veteran competition, at the very least, for Kyle Trask. And you have a guy that has started in this league quite a bit. They might have, you know, got the, the, the needle in the haystack or the diamond in the rough here with Baker Mayfield. But Baker's, if anybody could be the guy after the guy, it's this guy. And here we go. You like that move? I do. Great receivers. Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Russell Gage. I mean, look around the league. Where else could he have gone with as clear of an opportunity to compete for a starting job? It's not being given to him. They've made it extremely clear, especially to him, that this is a competition. Mm -hmm. So Kyle Trask could win that job. Yeah, and to have the kind of weapons the Bucks have, yeah. you know, that if you're going to try to compete for a starting job, then you care about what's going to be sure. there if you win it. I, I view it as a, the start of my next chapter, whatever that might be. I want to go somewhere that we can win right away, and this is that place. I've played a lot of ball, and so I've seen I've seen a decent amount. So I can help people out from being behind the scenes, like I did last year quite a bit, and just enjoying the process. This is a dream I'm living. Why not enjoy it? But right now, I want to compete, and uh, I want to win. We wanted to bring in a veteran that's had some experience that would compete. Um, we're going to open this up to a competition and let the best man win. But the focus wasn't money for him. It was the opportunity, and he felt like this gave him the best opportunity to revive his career if he could. But if not, he understands he could end up being a backup to Kyle. To me, competition brings the best out in everybody. Uh, I've always believed that, and that's that's just true for all sports. And, you know, it teaches you how to compete, teaches you how to win and lose the right way, uh, and there's learning processes along the way. So I think Kyle and I are going to push each other no matter what happens, and I think we're going to make the most of it. The good thing about this competition is they're both learning this system from scratch. So there's no front runner. There's no there's not one that knows it a little bit better that you can use that excuse. But I think they're, they're gonna use each other's strengths to drive the other ones. A lot of key pieces that are still here. I, I respect Coach Bowles quite a bit, and I've heard nothing but good things about Dave Canales. Then you talk about the team people will actually be around and working with. It's uh, great defense, great key pieces on offense. And so I'm just looking forward to just the potential we have and to see where this thing's gonna go. And that's the best part about this time of year is with a new system, everybody's growing in it together. So we get to see what we're really gonna become. Well, I just think there, there's some fresh blood now. There's gonna be some good competitions. There's more positions up for grabs. And I think that that fuels a lot of competitive practices. And that's one of the things I'm looking forward to. Hello world. This is a, uh... Welcome to the Don't Make a Scene Network, man. Buy the long version. First year in the league. You know, people looked at me crazy, man. They thought that I was supposed to go big and all that, but I'm not really much of like a materialistic guy. They always say the second contract is what you really work for in the league. And the fact that I'm, I was able to reach that knowing that all the adversity I went through. It's like on a personal level, I feel like I persevered. You really have goals of trying to make it to the like the Super Bowl. It starts now. This is the time where you start learning. You just every day, just an extra hour or two. Um, For the quarterback situation, that was like the biggest concern. You know, we got Kyle Trask and, ba and Baker Mayfield now, so um, we, I'm confident in both of them. We know what both are able to do. We seen Baker just what well, come off of one or two days of practice, and then got thrown in the game with the thrown in the game with the Rams against the Raiders, and then. Led into a victory. Mayfield flings it left side end zone. Caught! Wow! Caught! Caught by Van Jefferson! They both of them know that they're competing for a starting spot, so you know you, they're going to bring their best every day. So by them bringing their best, it forces the defense to bring our best because you know we we got to treat it like a game because they finna treat it like a game. So you know it's good like just to put us in that mindset. Okay, guys, five, four, three. Two, one. This is a guy that we had all off season. It was so interesting. He was on all these lists as one of the top free agents, period, in the league. And then especially at corner, and some had him as the top most, free agent. Most yep. of them did. And so now to know that the Bucks are bringing him back, just tell me a little bit about what we know about the deal and, and what this means to this defense. Jamel's been good for a long time, and he's only getting better, and he's still young. But in terms of the player that is probably most important to get back, that was Jamel Dean. So really quite a coup for the Bucks to be able to keep him. I hope he continues playing at a high level, but uh, and we expect that from him, and he will. But I hope he 
continues to uh, grow as a leader and be a leader like what he referred to Richard Sherman being for him in that short amount of time. I want him to be a leader and he's got it in him. He's a relentless worker. Todd's an early bird. He's here at 4.30 and Jamel's in there and trying to learn from him. It's not as a trying to be a teacher's pet or anything like that. It's he just really has a uh, desire to learn and, and get better. Me and him, we put in a lot of work together. So it's like, why would I let another coach reap the benefits of what me and Bose did? <laughs> so, so like that was like that was like really like big because I only want to be coached by Bose because he the one that taught me everything I know. You know, it's almost like a father son relationship because like, when you listen to him and then you see how much he understands the game and then he can sit there and pull up a film and then show you why things are happening. It's like okay, like you really got to understand. Like I want to know the game just like how you know the game. So like whatever it takes, man, I'll just just teach me. You're often put in the spotlight at corner. You're on an island, and it's one of the toughest positions to play in football. Well, it shows like all my hard work and dedication that I put into the offseason to come in OTAs, get like extra film session to see like how can I get better and how can I improve my game. All that and then having the season that I had. It just, it just shows that hard work really pays off. So it's more like you got to create yourself an opportunity. We've been working on this plan for a long time. I have a lot of confidence in these people. We have a lot of good players, players entering their prime, players in their prime, players that haven't even scratched the surface of their prime. It was important to me to, to be in a place that's stable and knows how to win, knows how to do it properly. We understand like we all have a, it's like all of us on the string, so we know we want to get at each other because we built that trust level over the years. If y'all not getting up, put your hands up. Put your hands in the thorn now, you know what I'm saying? Rodgers over the middle and it's intercepted. Like we got one of our captains back. Captains, leaders. I know I'm going to get out of Levante. So just knowing that we ain't got to worry about run game or even the pass game because we got a, we got someone that's back. When you re-sign your own, it, it should be celebrated more than it is. The cities want to throw parades when you sign a big time free agent from another team. But when you re-sign your own, players that are highly respected, I mean, it's worthy of a parade in itself. Success is success, but you have to go through the process and the work to enjoy it. And so I love that part about it. I'm a, you know, I like to grind. We're not playing next week. We have a ways to go. So we're going to continue to build this thing all the way up until September.